Angie Wallace of Brookfield, Missouri, will meet with students here at North Kansas City High School to talk about her son, Taylor. Suicide claimed Taylor's life about a year ago. Now, Taylor was a bright, outgoing young man, but he began to battle depression during his senior year in high school, and this depression would manifest itself in some very strange ways. He would uh, have angry outbursts, Taylor would, and he would curse unexpectedly. These were uncharacteristic qualities, his mother says. Plus, his sleeping and eating patterns were all over the map. Now, Angie and her husband got Taylor into therapy sessions with a counselor, and that seemed to help, but when he went off to college, Angie learned that he became isolated. He didn't make friends. And their frequent conversations over the phone and by FaceTime would sometimes take uncomfortable turns. He would say things to me like, you don't know how bad I want to jump out that window right now. And I was just like, Taylor, you're kidding me. And he's like, no, I just hate it. I hate it. Now, those patterns Angie Wallace came to learn were textbook examples, not just of depression, but of someone who was contemplating suicide. So a big part of her conversation with the students here at North Kansas City High School later this morning is how to identify those warning signs, to see those warning signs, and when you do, what you do about it.